Crocodile vs. Rhinoceros. Who would win a fight? The Nile crocodile and white rhino can be found in Africa. While the white rhino grazes on the lush grass, the Nile crocodile spends the day floating in the water, looking for a meal. Who would win if we put these two remarkable animals against each other? Crocodiles, which are nearly as old as Tyrannosaurus rex, have prowled waterways for millennia. The Nile crocodile is one of the world's most feared creatures. However, these crocs are social creatures and attentive mothers who encounter some unexpected threats. White rhinoceroses, often known as square-lipped rhinoceroses, are the largest living rhinoceros species. The southern white rhinoceros and the northern white rhinoceros are two subspecies of white rhinoceros. Unfortunately, the northern white rhino is on the brink of extinction. Size and Description Nile crocodiles are Africa's largest crocodiles. They can reach a length of 20 feet, 6 meters, and weigh more than 1,500 pounds, 680 kilograms. Their bodies are sleek, their tails are long and strong, and their back feet are webbed. Nile crocodiles have large muscular jaws that are ideal for capturing and holding prey. These crocodiles can move underwater with an open mouth and catch and hold prey without consuming water thanks to a unique valve present at the back of their neck. Nile crocodiles have grey olive skin and yellowish bellies. Young animals are distinguished by their greenish or dark olive brown color and black cross banding on the body and tail. The banding on their bodies fades as they grow older. The white rhinoceros has a huge head, a short neck, and a broad chest. It has two horn-like growths on its nose, one behind the other. These are made of solid keratin, as opposed to bovid horns, which are keratin with a bony core, and deer antlers, which are solid bone. The front horn is larger and averages 24 inches, 60 centimeters in length, reaching 59 inches, 150 centimeters, but only in females. The back of the white rhinoceros's neck also bears a distinct hump. There are three toes on each of the four stumpy feet. The body color ranges from yellowish brown to slate gray. It has only ear fringes and tail bristles. White rhinoceroses have a distinguishing large straight mouth that they use for grazing. Its ears can move independently to pick up noises, but it relies on its sense of smell the most. Adult males can stand 6 feet, 1.85 meters tall, and weigh an enormous 7,936 pounds, 3,600 kilograms. Range and Habitat Nile crocodiles are found in freshwater settings throughout sub-Saharan Africa. Crocodiles can be found in 26 different nations across eastern, central, western, and southern Africa. Nile crocodiles can be found in a variety of water settings, including lakes, rivers, swamps, streams, and marshes. While Nile crocodiles prefer freshwater areas, they may live in saltwater environments, though just a few have been recorded. The Nile crocodile's historical habitat went further north into Egypt's Nile Delta, but they no longer live there outside of captivity. This rhinoceros is primarily found in savannas and grasslands. Because grass grows more densely in this habitat, they prefer it to more heavily forested places. The white rhino's primary meal is grass, and they cannot survive in areas without it. White rhinos seek for mud holes regardless of habitat choice. The rhinos use these mud holes to cool off and protect their skin from sunburn and insect bites. These massive mammals 
can only be found in Africa, mainly in southern Africa. The two subspecies were previously separated by their ranges, with the northern subspecies found in Central Africa and the southern subspecies found in Southern Africa. Northern white rhinos are now exclusively found in zoos. South Africa, Namibia, Botswana, Zimbabwe, Mozambique, Zambia, Kenya, and Uganda are home to southern white rhinos. Food habits. Nile crocodiles eat meat. They mainly hunt in the late afternoon and early evening. This crocodile can swallow enough food to equal half its body weight. As Africa's largest crocodile, this reptile has an abundance of prey to select from. Nile crocodiles consume a wide range of fish. They are also known to prey on large mammals, including zebras, buffalo, antelope, and even young hippos. A Nile crocodile can sit still while watching an animal, such as a zebra or an antelope, drink from a river or lake. Despite their size, these crocodiles are quite swift. They leap out of the water and use their immense bite force to grasp and subdue their prey. Rhinos are all herbivores, meaning they eat vegetation. This species mostly consumes grass and does not consume leaves or other plant products. They favor shorter grasses and new growth. White rhinos must consume a lot of grass to survive because they are one of the largest grass-eating mammals. A single rhino may consume up to 120 pounds, 55 kilograms of grass every day. Behavior. Nile crocodiles are lonely creatures. They can, however, be spotted feeding in small groups of several individuals on occasion. They usually utilize a particular approach to concentrate fish by enclosing an area of water. Then, dominance hierarchies determine which members of the group will feed in what order. These reptiles are mostly active at night. Crocodiles generally sunbathe or cool off in the water during the day. Male crocodiles are extremely territorial. They watch over and safeguard their territory, which can comprise a portion of the beach extending 164 feet, 50 meters into the sea. These reptiles have the ability to hold their breath for up to two hours. White rhinos are probably the most sociable rhinoceroses, forming groups of up to 14 individuals, although group size is usually smaller. Their territories differ widely depending on habitat type and resource availability. White rhinos are sedentary animals that rarely leave their home region. Dominant males of this species lead solitary lives, fiercely defending their territories against intruding males. Females and youngsters, on the other hand, are free to roam their home ranges. Territorial behavior is displayed by marking, such as spreading dung, spraying urine, dragging their feet, as well as damaging plants with their horns. These mammals' daily routines include mud baths, which help them cool off and get rid of parasites. Now it's time for the fight. So let's see who would win, a crocodile or a rhinoceros? Rhinos are calm creatures who like to live alone. However, if her calf is being attacked, a female rhino might rapidly lose her temper. This, however, is exactly what the crocodile does to the rhino. While both are in the water, it pursues the calf. This makes the rhino insane. Then there are severe life or death conflicts. But who will win the last battle? The outcome of the fight is easily predictable. If the struggle takes place on land, the reptile has little chance. The rhinoceros's immense size allows it to easily crush the crocodile to death. Furthermore, a rhinoceros's main aggressive weapon 
is its massive, sharp horn. With the horn, it can easily toss the crocodile away. However, the crocodile has a chance inside water holes. It can swim more quickly in water. It can even breathe underwater because it lives inside water, giving it an advantage. A rhino's life can be endangered if it is entirely or partially submerged in croc-infested water. Crocs take their calves underwater while crossing lakes and shallow rivers in the wild. The croc attacks its prey with tremendous power at first. Crocodiles have the strongest bite force on the earth. When it is convinced that it has successfully grabbed the limb, it instantly begins rotating at high speed. This action severely injures the prey. It frequently rips off skin and flesh and can even twist the bone and break it. They enjoy dragging their prey into the water and drowning them. Their biting pressure was approximately 3,700 PSI. The rhinoceros's thick skin also protects it from the assault. They are, nevertheless, quite quick on their feet. So if they are in a dangerous situation, they may easily leave the area and avoid any damage. Their excellent hearing and smelling abilities help keep them safe from sudden danger. On land, the herbivore easily defeats the reptile. The Nile crocodile's only alternative is to flee on its belly while on land. However, it can defend against a threat to the gigantic rhinoceros from within the sea. Crocs frequently attack harmed prey or abandoned rhino calf. The rhino has a slim chance of survival in this situation. Even if it would be extremely difficult for the crocodile to get its jaws around any part of a rhino, there is a chance, of course, if we consider the world's largest Nile crocodile. Nevertheless, I'd bet on the rhino at least 8 out of 10 times. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. Until next time, farewell.